In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get free V-Bucks inside Fortnite Battle Royale. And yes, the free V-Bucks are located at the Mega Mall. But before we get into this, another V-Bucks contest for you guys to enter. Look how many V-Bucks we've given away so far, hater. And the next winner could be you. Wow, the steps are real easy this time. Step one, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button with notifications turned on. Accept all notifications from this channel because you want to be in the loop on the notification squad. Step two, leave a like on this video. Very easy to do. Step three, all you have to do is simply leave a comment. What is your favorite place to land in Fortnite Battle Royale? Also, I want you to leave your country and your console in there just once so I know where to send it to and which console to get the points for. And you can also respond to that question multiple times. The more times you reply or make a response or put a comment in on where your favorite place to land is, the more entries you get into the contest. Remember, one like equals one V-Buck. Capped out at 10,000 maximum. The more likes this video gets, the more V-Bucks the winner will get. And it could be you! And while the rest of the internet was busy stealing Stranger Things Season 3's feelings, we were busy finding out how post-July 4th celebrations could be affecting the entirety of the universe in Fortnite Battle Royale. And you know who it is. It is your host with the most, J-I-M-B-O-T-H-Y. You can just call me Jimothy. It's a lot easier that way for you. But before we get into today's video, I'm going to need you guys to do me a favor. I'm going to need you guys to smash the like button. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button with bell notifications turned on. That way you get all my videos sent directly to your feed. And yes, my friends, the sickness is still amongst us. And by us, I mean me. I'm still a little sick right now, okay, hater? And being sick in the summertime absolutely sucks. But that doesn't mean everything else has to suck because we found one of the greatest Easter eggs ever hidden inside Fortnite Battle Royale. And yes, folks, this will be one of the greatest, easiest, and simplest to do Easter eggs ever found inside the game. Now, as we all know, there has been rumors abound, aplenty, if you will, on the Fortnite BR subreddit. If you've been on the Reddit community, if you have been watching YouTube videos, if you have yourself a Twitter and you're not following me on Twitter right now, what the heck are you doing with your life? But besides that shameless plug, it's at the Jimothy, by the way, if you want to follow me on Twitter, that would be greatly appreciated. There have been rumors circling the Fortnite community, and aside from the Fortnite Stranger Things event, that there is actually a method to get free V-Bucks inside Fortnite Battle Royale. And yes, this is not playing Save the World. A lot of people, if you didn't know, and I will inform you right now very quickly, not taking a 10 minute video to teach you how to do it, if you play Save the World, because some people will tell you how to get free V-Bucks and it's just playing Save the World, we're not doing that in today's video, by the way, but they would be like, oh, 10 minute long video, and guess what? It's just Save the World. Yeah, if you play Save the World, news flash, spoiler alert, you will get yourself free V-Bucks that way, however you earn them at such a slow rate that they cannot be used in a viable me method of actually buying stuff from the store. When you gain 10 V-Bucks a match, uh, it will take you around 10,000 matches for you to get 1,000 V-Bucks. Obviously, that's not how math works, but I'm just saying it would take an extremely long amount of time for you playing Save the World and winning, by the way, to get yourself the V-Bucks necessary to buy anything from the item shop store and unfortunately that is not what we will be teaching you today so i'm just debunking that theory right now we're canceling it out it has been canceled okay 
because today's video only concerns Battle Royale. And yes, this all takes place in Battle Royale. You do not need Save the World for this. So, now that we have this out of the way, the rumor is uh, that one of the users in the Fortnite BR subreddit actually found a method inside the leaked coding that says that a V-Bucks icon is actually hidden inside the game at a very specific set of coordinates. Now, the coordinates don't match up when you actually look at the mini-map because the mini-map has its own coordinates. However, they do match an exact destination found inside Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, the coordinates, if you don't know, there's an X-axis and a Y-axis, and these coordinates actually match up to where we are showing you in the Mega Mall earlier in the video, in the clip at the beginning. I showed you that the V-Bucks icon actually shows up from this. This means it can be done. We're only corroborating the evidence found in that thread, which was removed earlier today. I honestly think if you guys don't get on this soon, Epic will probably patch this and then nobody will be getting the free V-Bucks from this method. So this is a working method of how to get 10,000 V-Bucks for free in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, without further ado, the first step, the first things first, I am the realist. Don't copyright strike me for that. I will be teaching you to get the V-Bucks. What you need to do is have access to the Season 9 Battle Pass Edition. Now, if you don't know how to get access to that, you might need a little bit of V-Bucks. You're going to need to have yourself at least the first level unlocked just have the battle pass in your possession and now you can proceed with the next step of the easter egg you want to make your way over to the mega mall now in the mega mall area you're just going to proceed as i'm doing right now i noticed how i got the flintlock pistol that will come in handy and oh my god the textures haven't even loaded in ah! all you want to do is make your way over to this conspicuous house and you notice how i'm using the flintlock pistol this house has a little satellite dish outside of it walk up to it and press and hold the square button this will activate the first step of the easter egg next you want to go up to the doorbell ring it once as i'm doing right now and then make your way inside of the house now you just want to sneak around to the back door of the house as we're doing right now and you're gonna make your way into the garage now inside the garage there's actually a hidden panel floor that's holding up the car. This leads to the secret bunker underneath the entire house. So what you want to do is simply break through this panel floor and fall into the bunker below. Once inside, you immediately want to disable the security system by smashing the camera and you want to grab yourself one of the weapons available. You're going to need a pistol in this case so as to hit the special buttons we'll be showing you later on in the video. Once inside, you want to make your way up to the control room, which is actually on the right side. I went to the left because I screwed up, okay? And you just want to take aim at the console. We're going to be aiming at the little red button here. Simply fire into that with your pistol. And next, you want to aim for the green bar button over in the middle. And then once you fired into that, it will destroy the console itself. And you can proceed with getting out of the creepy house in Fortnite. Once this step is done, now you want to make your way inside the Mega Mall itself. If you don't know what that is, it's the shopping center, okay? And now you want to make your way into the arcade and you're going to notice these arcade machines. You want to go over to the one I'm doing right now on the far side of the map and activate your dance emote from the Season 9 Battle Pass. Hence why we needed it in the first place. It's from the 14 Days of Summer. Just shake your thing while you dance and then dance in front of the machine itself. Once this has been completed, you want to make your way over to this machine, which now has purple text for Dance Victory Royale, and you have to do another dance emote in front of it. Once the dance emote has played in in full, you want to make your way over to the third and final machine over on the opposite side of the store and activate one of your dance emotes in front of it. These all have to be different dance emotes, but does not matter which ones you use. Once you've done a full playthrough of all of these, you can now proceed to the next step of the Easter egg. Next step involves you getting the storm flip, which actually makes the storm happen, and you're gonna wanna walk up to this giant spire hyperloop thing. I don't know what's called, the slipstream maker, and you wanna go up to the turbine, as I'm doing right now, and aim for the middle, and what we'll be doing is throwing the storm flip into it. Be careful not to get sucked up into it, but it doesn't really matter. 
You're just going to want to throw the storm flip into it. It will take the storm flip away and detonate it somewhere else on the map, which is pretty cool. But it has to actually pass through these two rings like I did right now. And you'll see the storm flip going off, which means the Easter egg is now in progress. At this juncture, all you need to do is now make your way back into the Mega Mall and at the entrance there you'll see the floating V-Buck coin and oh my god, you can get 10,000 free V-Bucks from the Mega Mall for just doing this Easter egg that only took two minutes to do? What is going on? Yeah! Anyway, I hope you found that enjoyable and for be sure to smash the like button. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button with bell notifications turned on. That way you get all my videos sent directly to your feed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Next time, I'm going to teach you how to get the Super Shredder in Fortnite Battle Royale.